Hi, welcome to the University of the Nations. My name is Jonathan Lowe. I'm a water engineer. I recently moved here with my family in December to volunteer and help out here on campus. And right now we're on a mission to help with water conservation, knowing where our water is going and help be a good steward of water here in Kailua Tunnel. Uh, water is extremely limited and expensive here in Hawaii. And so we're wanting to just be wise about how we're spending our water. But more significantly for the campus right now is we have the opportunity to develop 62 acres right behind me, but cannot get any approvals until we reduce our water use and demonstrate that we're using water wisely. Uh, there has been uh, water, a lot high water use in the past, and so we're wanting to just demonstrate to the regulatory bodies, as well as our leadership and the community here that we're using water wisely, and that's going to allow us to expand our campus and have more students so that we can have a bigger impact in the work that we do. My mission with Bluebot is to have a more granular monitoring system for our water on this 46 acre campus here at the University of the Nations. Mm -hmm. Historically, we've only had two water meters at, the, at, each, at each end of the property, and so Bluebot's allowing us to monitor both our indoor water use and our outdoor water use, and through doing so, understanding and finding where leaks could be and how our water is used on property, and using that information will help us uh, develop educational programs and just be better stewards of water here at the University of the Nation. So we found a 5,000 gallon leak, a number of significant leaks here on the property, and the blue box have allowed us to isolate those leaks in a particular area uh, on the campus so that we know where to dig and where to look for leaks. The mobility of the blue bot allowed us to move it along the pipe and then we could just put the blue bot, install it, see if the leaks were still being monitored, and by doing so, come up with a much shorter zone of, through which we can do further um, physical investigation to find leaks. Bluebots are allowing us to monitor indoor water use on each individual building. We, we know our occupancy of each of those buildings. And so what we're going to be doing next is taking that water use data, comparing it to our occupancies of each of the buildings, and then seeing what our per capita usage is on a gallons per day per person basis. And that's going to allow us to know how much water we need for future development uh, for future dorms uh, next door. We have this fun idea of creating competition, healthy competition on campus. So. We have 16 buildings, many of those are uh, occupied by students, and so by having each building monitored, we're going to know what the average per capita usage is of each building, and then we can say, hey, building A is using 50 gallons per person while building B is using 40. How about for the next month, see if you can get closer, who can reduce their water usage by the biggest percentage, and having a free pizza night for those that, for the buildings that they reduce the water by the most amount. Bluebot is helping us identify where we have leaks on campus. Historically, we found a number of larger leaks and now we're getting to the point where, okay, we've tackled the big, like maybe the, the low-hanging fruit. Bluebot's helping us have that more granular focus, more micro-focus on each of our buildings and smaller areas on campus so that we can monitor like overnight flows because we have minute-by-minute minute data now. We can check, okay, the low midnight flows, are we having consistent flow rates and allowing us to identify those consistent leaks and then being able to do further investigation. We didn't have to isolate the line. We didn't have to shut down the line. And so for cases where we have buildings and students and families, there was no disruption. You really could just bring in the power, clamp on the blue bot, set it up, and you're good to go. And you know, there's an old saying that says you cannot monitor what you cannot measure. So if you're not measuring our water, how do we know how we can monitor and steward it? So blue bot's helping us to know where our water is being used. And so we can help then students understand that and get them to understand the, the value of the resource that we have here, how they can have a part and using that in, a, in a, a, a wiser and a more responsible manner. As a water engineer, I've seen this technology used in larger scale operations. And when I came across it, I said, hey, this is a great application of a pretty established existing technology and using it on a you know, residential or smaller scale. And as a university, yeah, we'd be, we're super excited that we can use it with 38 water meters covering the 16 buildings, 21 irrigation zones and uh, the easy installation and the ability to have it integrated with a, an app uh, with alert systems that allow us to let us know if there's any issues has been really fantastic and we're, we're excited to be a part of pushing and seeing this technology grow.